Assalamu alaikum. So today we are going to discuss the spaces and the incidence on the hand and the forearm. So we will discuss the two spaces of the hand and one of the forearm. So first of all we will discuss the forearm space of perona which is present in the forearm. The first will be forearm space of perona. So this forearm space of perona it will extend from the radius to the flexor retinatine aculum. Extend from radius bone to flexor retinatine aculum which is at the wrist. And it will be this space it will be between the pronator quadratus and the flexor tendons between pronator quadratus muscle and the flexor muscle tendons flexor tendons and the incision on this space will be on the, the <coughs> lateral side of arm incision will be on lateral side of arm lateral side of forearm Okay, so now we will move toward the second side, which is the dorsal space on hand. Dorsal, this is in the hand. So, in it, we will discuss two spaces which are on the dorsal side of the this side of the hand. Okay, so the first one is the dorsal subcutaneous space. Dorsal subcutaneous. As its name indicates subcutaneous, it will be just below the skin. Just below skin. And the second space is the dorsal subaponeurotic space. So this dorsal subaponeurotic space, it will be between the metacarpal bone and extensor tendon. Mean to say it will be um, on the deep deep side of this dorsal surface between metacarpal bone and extensor tendon. Tendons. Now we will move toward the third, which are the palmar spaces, which are on the palmar side of hand. So so these will be three spaces, the pulp space, the mid palmar space and the thinar space. So first of all we will see the pulp space and to discuss this pulp space we will draw a finger. These are the last two part of this finger, okay? Inside which we will draw the phalanges. Okay. Now we will draw the blood supply to this. We will see this last phalanx, okay? There will be septas in the distal 4 by 5th. This is the distal 4 by 5th part. This is proximal 1 by 4 by 5th. This is proximal 1 by 5th. This is distal 4 by 5th. And there will be septas in this distal 4 by 5th. Like this. So now see if, if there is, is an injury in this distal 4 by 5th part. So this will cause the necrosis of that part. And if there is an injury in this proximal 1 by 5th part, there will be no necrosis. The reason is that because there are septas present. And due to these septas, in, if uh, let's suppose this is uh, this artery is injured from here, this point. So 
due to these septums no other artery can supply this part and this will cause the necrosis of this part and uh, the incision for this pulse face is on the lateral side of finger lateral side of finger now we will move toward the next space which is the mid palmar space this mid palmar space it is present lateral to sorry it, it, it is present medial to lateral fibrous septum so now we will see that what is the lateral fibrous septum Okay, so this is the hand, this is the thumb and this will be the little finger. So the lateral fibrous septum, it will extend from the lateral side of the palmaris longus, which is the muscle present coming from the forearm. It, it, it will be here from this point to the third finger. If this is first, second, third. So this will be the lateral fibrous septum. It will extend like this. And uh, medial to this, this space, this whole space, which will be the mid palmar space okay and the incision for this mid palmar space will be in the third or fourth web space we will also see these incisions on a diagram later now we will move toward the third which is the thin R space this thin R space it will be lateral to lateral fibrous septum lateral to lateral fibrous septum you mean to say this part and in CN will be in the first web space now we will see these incisions on hand here So, the incisions for the radial bursa, they will be on this point of hand. And the incisions for ulnar bursa will be here. And the incisions for the thin R space will be in the, this is, this is the first web space. This is thumb and this is the first web space. And incisions for the mid palmar space in the third here or in the fourth web space. And the incisions for the pulp space. So they will be on the lateral side we need to say on the lateral side of the finger like this we will also label them this was for the radial bursa this was for ulnar bursa this insane was for the thin R space these were for the mid palmar space and this incision was for the pulp space so these are the incisions on the hand and these were the spaces in the forearm and the hand the pulp space the mid palmar space the thin R space the dorsal subcutaneous the dorsal subaponeurotic space and these were the forearm space of the perona thank you